All right, to set up for this one, you're gonna want the foam roller right behind you, kind of like forming a T with your body. So the foam roller would be going horizontally like this, that we right up in front of it. So how are we gonna set up for this? You're gonna get the foam roller right in the middle of your back, kind of like right below the shoulder blades. You don't wanna to go too low on this. You also don't wanna go up by the shoulder blades. It's not gonna lie to get the right amount of extension. Just think about arching your back. Wherever your back arches, that's where you want the roller. So we'll go right about here. So now this is super important. When you're setting up for this, it's important that you're digging your butt into the floor and you're gonna keep your eyes focused on your legs like this, because I don't want your chin tilting back like that. So you're gonna keep your eyes focused here. Your butt doesn't leave the floor, your feet don't leave the floor. That's super important. Again, we don't wanna compensate. Butt stays glued to the floor. You're gonna start by getting your arms behind your ears like this, like at the top of a shoulder press or at the bottom of a pull up. Make sure that they're completely straight. We're not doing this. We're not just kind of hanging your dead weight. Squeeze your shoulder blades, get your arms behind you, and then what you're gonna do is arch your back, exhale, get your thumbs or your fingertips to the floor, wherever you can get it, you need your whole hand, that's awesome. Dig your butt into the ground, keep your chin tucked so you're kind of looking at your knees or looking at the ceiling. Not like this, we're not dipping our head back. Really focus on pushing your butt into the floor, chest to the ceiling, arms relaxed, touching the ground. And we're just gonna exhale, breathe here.